Okay, ladies and gents, we are jumping straight into the football manager action here today because we, of course, have a double header kicking off with our game against Yokohama F Marinos here in the league. It's first versus second, a very big tie. There is a few other games, of course, going on in the league. Feel free to pause and have a little look through them or even just to keep an eye on the scores as we play today's first game. But... We need to head on over to the tactical meeting screen. First of all, we have a positive to cautious suggestion from our assistant. I'm not going to go quite that far. I might drop it down to a balanced approach, though. It's a breezy, breezy 16 degrees Celsius here today. A little bit cooler than my actual room. 29,007 tickets sold. Out of a 41,484 capacity, good pitch condition, and well, opposition instructions, we are going to apply those. Also, Son Krasin, I'm not quite sure if I was wrong before about him being on international duty, but he was between the previous episode and this game, so he is tired still for this one. He's going to miss out, and we have four suspensions for this game like it couldn't be any harder a team we cannot seem to beat in Yokohama F Marinos we now are missing four of our key players and those four key players are Apple Camp he's suspended Kim Min Tai Suga and Fujita that means those four are missing Song Krasin of course is being rested for that second game Ogashiwa doesn't usually make the team and Awaka also doesn't usually make the team but our team for today is still a pretty darn strong one. Obi and Gaul, a backline of Hatsus, Havania, Inukai and Komai. In central midfield, we have Miyazawa and Fujimoto. Miyazawa usually the playmaker, but he was our best option in that ball winning midfield. On the left hand side is Lucas, on the right is Nakagawa, up front is Nakashima and of course sitting behind him is Lopez. The bench consists of Nakano, Yanagi, Fukumori, Kawasaki, Danzaki, F Maru Oka and Kishimoto. So before I forget let's just alter this mentality to a balanced one. And let's see if we can actually get something from this game. I think I'd be happy with a draw. I know we're at home. We should probably be pushing for a win, considering these are our fellow title rivals. But considering our track record against them, we've lost every time. I think a draw would be at least a step in the right direction, you know? At least it wouldn't be losing to them yet again. But... We are first of all going to pause it so I can change this to the league table. Although it's not going to change, we would like to see other teams bouncing about. So we are going to start things back up. They do have the majority of the possession, so it's a good idea to drop back to a balanced approach. I don't think we should be playing cautious at home though. Even if we are playing the best team in the league, I don't think we should be. Kidder though will collect the ball, plays it over, gets the ball back in fact. Kidder holding up position nicely for them, tries the ball over to Leo Serra. He is deadly, I thought he would have put that one away. Thankfully though it goes flying over the bar and Komai will throw one in. He's thrown it into Nakawa, it's back to Komai. Komai tries a cutting run instead, plays it back to Kanya. Kanya plays a ball over to Hatsus, Hatsus to Lucas. Hatsus has made a run but instead he's gone back over to Komai on this right hand side. He whips in across, it's nodded away by Hara. Kayan nods it down for Lopez. Miyazawa now up to Hatsus, Hatsus has space, pull it back for Miyazawa. Come on, he can whip it across from there. Come on, Miyazawa, whip it across. Plays it across to Kanya. Acres of space. Lopez, too much space for Lopez. Drills it into the top left corner, my friends. 15 minutes into this game. I believe that was his eighth goal of the season. Lopez has gone and given us the lead. Miyazawa, nice ball across to Kanya. Kanya, being smart, he was tightly marked. Plays it over to Lopez, who has plenty of space to just smash it into that top corner. Other games, well, Red Diamonds are currently 1-0 up in their game, and Tokyo Verdi is giving Cerezo Osaka a game 1-1 after going 
one nil down but it's now 2-1 to Cerezo so very fun game going on over there but right now we are focused on ours Kidder edge of the area pulls it back for Uwata Uwata holding up the ball nicely whips one in it's nodded away and Nakagao can go on the counter attack he has Lopez in support can he get it across to Nakashima though Nakashima is the deadly one in that box unfortunately he is dispossessed by Mita and it's now with Usami Usami coming down this left hand side Nakagawa lovely tackle plays it to Lopez Komai now to Kanya Kanya to Inukai back to Kanya once more lovely wall over the top Lucas lovely run cuts inside oh and he smashed it into the bottom right hand corner Lucas you beautiful human being has just gone and made it to here on the 34th minute what a lovely build up play here Kanya great eye to spot that pass Lucas great run to get onto it so Hara doesn't intercept it and an even better finish to slide it into the bottom right hand corner so we've had one in the top left one in the bottom right where are we going next with our shots well doesn't look like their shots in that first half were very good because we had eight on target they had six three oh sorry eight in total they had six we have three on target they had one of their six on target 0.59 xg to a 0.57 xg though isn't great for either of us and quite frankly that's a very 50 50 game and not reflective of a 2 nil lead five corners to five eight fouls to two zero yellow cards zero yellow cards 90 percent passing to 92 great passing on both sides 43 percent possession to 57 the only thing is both sides really aren't being very clinical other than lopez of course and lucas who drilled those beautiful efforts into the corners of the goal i'm very happy let's keep it going we might actually pick up a victory against yokohama f marinos something i didn't think i'd be saying at the end of this episode and who knows maybe we can get two wins against two very good sides this one's looking good 33rd goal of the season for nakagawa 56 minutes in the cross from Lopez of course and what a beautiful start to this second half near post nods it past Gatzler and he has absolutely no chance we now have a nine point gap on Yokohama this is lovely to see Bun Mafan is going to whip it in we are in substitution time I have just noticed that 62 almost 63 minutes so we are going to just give it this highlight and then we should start taking some players off asami pulls it back to kidda kidda holding up the ball nicely for bum mafan bum mafan is going to come down this left hand side he pulls it back for kidda in fact who's whipping in the cross marcos has space hatsu's lovely clearance though gets it to lopez who just hoops it away to hara on the halfway line meter finds hara once more coming down this right hand side lucas put some pressure on him my friend please Oh, it's gone into Leo Serra. Thankfully, it's cleared away, but not far enough. Mita has possession once more. Plays it into Kida. Kida Usami gets it over to Marcos Jr. Marcos Jr. whips one across to Leo Serra. Oh, Obi made a save. Unfortunately, couldn't keep it out, though. That was unfortunate. And Leo Serra has gone and got himself a goal. Not a surprise, that man seems to score in every single game for them. Although he only has 20 odd goals, I'm actually very surprised he only has 20 odd goals. Especially considering we have a striker with 33 in Nakagawa. And he's been playing on the wing a lot. So that just shows you how deadly Nakagawa is. And we already know how deadly Nakashima is. So we've got two very deadly prospects up front. Now as you can see, I haven't fixed this since last episode. So 6.5, 6. 6 Point five Hatsus and Miyazawa. So those are our struggling players, Hatsu and Miyazawa. But the thing is, they are probably not going to be prominent in our upcoming game. So we should really be thinking about that Beijing game. It's another massive match. So we should really focus on resting the guys who are going to be playing in that one. So Nakagawa should be playing in that one. Nakashima should probably be on the bench. So I don't have to worry about him. Because Lucas should be coming over here. Song Krasin will be fit enough to come in on that left hand side. Lopez will be playing. So Lopez, Lucas. I guess I could leave Nakagawa on just because one of these should have enough fitness for the next game. But I really do need to take one of them off ideally 
maybe swap out the three of them. Fujimoto sits on the bench. I think we might get away with leaving our defense on because they are all pretty fit. Komai is a little bit tight, but you know what? If Komai misses the game, in fact, I think Komai might be suspended for the next one. In fact, yes, Komai and Lucas, if I remember correctly, are suspended for the Beijing game. So Lucas can stay on. Komai can stay on. Komai is going to be replaced by Yanagi in the next one. Lucas is going to be probably replaced by Nakagawa in the next one, unless I bring on one of the youngsters here, which means these two are both going to have to play. Lopez is definitely going to be playing. Katsus won't be playing. I'll back to... Okay, so you're fit enough. Those three are fit enough. Komai, don't need to worry about. Fujimoto, don't need to worry about. Miyazawa, don't need to worry about. Nakagawa, Lopez. Nakagawa, Lopez have got to be our main two to get off. Nakashima, maybe rest him up, but I think with that fitness, he should be okay. So these two are the ones we're taking off. I've rambled enough. We've got Maru Oka. He's going to come in there on the right-hand side. I think we're going to bring on Kishimoto. I could have brought on Danzaki, but I think Kishimoto is probably the better one over on that side. Two and a half star, three star potential. What are you, Danzaki? Two star, three and a half star, possibly four and a half star. Although, you do prefer to just be an inside forward on the other side. Your crossing is dropping off a bit, which is a bit worrying. Finishing, not so worried about that because you are more of a supportive player. But, I guess, hmm, we could take you off, Miyazawa. We could take you off. But who would we take you off for? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll risk it for the biscuit. Not really risking much, considering it's rather late and Yokohama has only got three on target from 11 shots now. But they do have a deadly free kick here. Mitter nods it on Marcos. Ooh, if they score now, it's going to be an heavy last 10 minutes or so. So we really need to just keep them away from our goal. Both teams not being very deadly here today, as you will see from the match statistics. But right now we are holding on, can you? Clears it away. It's collected on the halfway line though. Iwata holds the ball up and he plays the ball over to Usami. Usami gets the ball and it's hit the post and cleared away. Ooh. Seven minutes plus additional time. So about ten minutes. That's all we need to hold on for. We don't need to worry too much. Bun Mafan though will whip in the corner. It's cleared away. Kida will collect it. Kishimoto is putting him under pressure but not enough. Thankfully, though, the highlight has ended and we are almost into additional time. We are into additional time. In fact, we have four minutes and we are finished. That, ladies and gents, is how you beat Yokohama F. Marados. You pray that they just can't shoot and you manage to get two beautiful efforts in. And then you have a beautiful header that kills it off in the second half. So, 12 shots to 13 in the end, four on target two there, three a 0.97 xG to a 1.36, six corners to their 11, 15 fouls to their five, three yellow cats to zero, 87% passing to 92, 42% possession to 58. As you can see, both of the substituted players had solid games, 7.2 from Nakagawa, Lopez though an 8.3 and a goal, makes him our standout performer. Lucas wasn't far behind with a 7.4 and a goal. And Fujimoto didn't even have a goal and still got 7.7. So not too shabby. But it is time to head on into the dressing room. Tell the lads, that was a good result. And now we are going to... Oh, and we have a nice little gap, by the way. If you are interested in the other results, they are there. But it is now time to progress. To our game this upcoming Tuesday against Beijing. A game we, of course, take a one goal. Oh, no, sorry. Two goal advantage in two. So I will see you back at the Sapporo Dome in just a second.
Okay everyone, so it's time for our second game of today's episode and after triumphantly beating F Marinos we are trying to take on Beijing Hihong with our 2-0 lead. Of course we have Lucas sent off in the last one and Komai is also suspended as I previously mentioned. As you can see though, the other games, we have the Iraqi side of Al Zawara who currently has a 1-0 lead over the Qatari side of Al Duhail. I don't know why that struggled to go through my brain, but it did. We then have the Saudi Arabian side of Al Ahli who has a 2-0 lead over Per C. Polis of Iran. We then have the Chinese side of Guang Zhao Evergrande with a 2-1 lead over Su Won Blue Wings of South Korea. So let's head on into the tactical meeting screen. We are going to apply the opposition instructions and in a surprise turn of events our assistant actually agrees with my mentality of Approach. But before we get into that, it's a breezy, breezy 19 degrees here today. Good pitch condition, 39,766 tickets sold from a 41,484 capacity. And our team for today's game is going to be using a balanced mentality. We have Obi and Gold, a backline of Suga. Havania, Inukai, and Yanagi on the left hand side is Songkrazin, on the right is Nakagawa. Central midfield will be controlled by Fujita and the Apple Camp. Anderson Lopez in front, sitting behind Nakashima. Now, Speaking of Nakashima, and in fact speaking of Nakagawa, Nakashima is our current highest goal scorer in a season with 34 goals last season. Nakagawa currently has 33, so he's one away from tying up that, and potentially he could go beyond this here today. He could get a couple of goals, and that would be lovely. But Yanagi's lacking about of match sharpness it's okay we've got suitable replacements if needed everyone is happy apart from three players who seem to not know about the formation that we've been using for the past two seasons pretty much every single game Hatsus, Nakano and Kawasaki hmm a little bit slow a little bit slow on trying to figure out what we are doing but it's okay it's only them three the rest of the team are on board with what we are doing and as you can see our assistant doesn't really know what we should do, so we can go with we cannot allow complacency to undo all of the good work done in the first leg. Go out there and treat this as if they're starting. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All the rest out there tonight, have fun. Hmm, I expect nothing but a win from this match. Keep up. No, no complacency, lads. Keep up the effort. Treat this like it's nil-nil. Doesn't matter about the two goals. If we go out there, we can just hold on to this lead by picking up a victory. That's all we need to do. If we can stop them winning, we go through. So don't worry about goal difference. Just stop them winning. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Treat it like any other match. We're starting from scratch, nil nil. And they are of course going for a 4 to 3 one because they know just how overpowered that formation is. Hence why we are using it and dominating our league. Lee Lee is going to throw the ball in here on the 10th minute though and Yanagi with a lovely interception plays it up to Nakagawa back to the apple camp lovely ball up to Nakashima oh Nakashima has gone and got an early goal on this 10th minute 18th goal of the season Nakashima yes he had 34 goals last season but you know what this is almost as impressive we've not used him quite as much he's been very much the backup to Nakagawa for the majority of this season yet he's put 18 goals in the back of the net this man is amazing Suga now Going to throw it in. Songkraz in, edge of the area, pulls it back for Suga. Can we get a second? It's played into Lopez and we can. He's just gone and got his ninth goal of the season. Slotted it in the bottom corner. 12 minutes in and we have a 4-0 aggregate advantage. 2-0 again. This is a team I was pretty scared of, to be honest, coming into these games, but... I don't know what we're scared of. This episode has been nuts. These are two teams. I would expect us to just sort of roll over and 
just take it, you know, take a three or four nil loss. But no, we, we are asserting our dominance. We are asserting the dominance on these teams. And Al Hali is currently one nil up in their game. I believe that makes it three nil on aggregate. And Blue Wings, come on Blue Wings, 2-0. They are now ahead in theirs because they was 2-1 down, I believe, from the first one, making it 3-2 on aggregate. But enough about their games. Let's go on about ours. It's 2-0 here at halftime. Four shots to their one. Two on target to their absolute zero. We've kept them. So no shots on target. This is great. 0.57 XG to a 0 0.02. Five corners to two. Four fouls to five. Two yellow cards to zero. 91% passing to 85. 52% possession to 48. So let's head on into the dressing room. I am very happy, lads. I will go around and kiss each and every one of you if you're not going to get some restraining order on me for doing so. Because... That was a beautiful performance in that first half. 2-0 after 12 minutes. Admittedly, a couple of players have picked up yellow cards within the first 10 minutes, which isn't great for going forward, and we are now up to substitution time. So, this would be a pretty darn good time to get some of these yellow carded players off. Song Krasin's having a rough game on a 6.6, .6. so perhaps we go double winger, have an ear, Kim Min Tai slides in there. In fact, would I rather Kim Mintai or Fujita at centre back? Fujita is a much better player, I'll be honest. His heading though is non existent. So, Kim Mintai, how are you at heading? You can at least head a ball. You can't finish, but that doesn't matter for a defender. We want you central defence. Composure is a bit. Mm, but he can jump, he can head. He can defend. He is a better centre back than Fujita. So he can go there. We can then have Mizao can actually cover on this side, but we'll actually go with Kishimoto because that's just the sensible option. And Kawasaki will go on the left hand side. So confirm those substitutions, get those players nice and well rested as we head forward. Suga. Clearing the ball away. Vieira shall hold the ball in play. Plays it across to you, Lopez. Now to Suga. And it's cleared away to you, Dabao. Dabao gets up to Yunning. And it's played all the way back to Li Li. Yunning back to Li Li once more. And, well, they are holding up the ball quite nicely. Rodriguez gets it over here to the gang. In back to Rodriguez. Vieira holding the ball up. Rodriguez, lovely inception by the Apple campaign. It's with Nakashima on the counter-attack. He has space. He has Kishimoto in support. He doesn't use him. Instead, he just smashes it wide of the goal. And that was rather wasteful. Rather wasteful indeed. But we can't be too mad. We have a 4-0 aggregate advantage. This is ridiculous. Fujita, beautiful tackle, by the way. Kawasaki plays it to Suga. I think you're going the wrong way, my friend. But Obi plays it across to In Ukai. Plays the ball up. It's nodded on by Lopez. Kishimoto won't get to it. And Lili gets the possession. I apologize for all that background noise. And we have Chi playing it across to Rodriguez. Lili on this left-hand side holding up the ball very nicely. It's now Yunning. Yunning gets into Vieira. And Vieira has got them a goal back. But 4-1, 69 minutes into this game. Only 20, probably about 25 minutes left in this one. If there's about four additional minutes, they've got a massive mountain to climb. Even with that goal. Suga though throws it into Lopez. Fujita plays it in Nakashima. What was that effort? Nakashima, you are not in some Kung Fu film. You're playing a football match. But, admittedly, that would have been a beautiful goal. On the counter-attack, though, is Zimming instead. Gets it over to Yunning. Yunning coming down this left-hand side. Will he cut inside? No, he's going to play it across to Lili. Lili now will try and cross it in. Perhaps he passes it into Yunning instead, who passes across to Zimming. And it's cleared away after Obi makes a save. They have a corner now, though, here on the 77th minute. Will Vieira get the ball into the box? He does. It's nodded away, though. And it's the end of that highlight. Lili, we're throwing here near their own corner flag. 
It's now with Yonning, Yonning to Vieira. It's zimming on this left-hand side, not even going to try Chai's last name. That will take me about three weeks to even get right. Lili plays it instead to Rodriguez. Does a crossfield ball over to Wang Gang, but instead we have won the ball back. And we have Nakashima 101 with their last defender. Oh, and he slotted it away. Come on, Nakashima. 19th goal of the season. That's amazing individual. And we have sealed the deal, quite frankly. Yes, it was probably beyond doubt anyways, but a 5-1 aggregate lead. 3-1 in this one. They're probably not even tying up this particular fixture, to be honest. Suga whips it in back post. Can we add to their misery? Not quite yet, but we have a corner. We have nine minutes plus any additional time to work with. Lopez whips it in near post, nodded away. Kawasaki will go and collect this one. Now, in terms of the draw for the next round, I'm not quite sure when it is. So, we might have to have a little check on that one, because I would like to do the draw in an episode. I know we have the Emperor's Cup coming up, so I'm actually going to pick a specific game based on where that one's draw is. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, though, where the draw is for this. All I know is Nakashima was our best performer. He got a brace and then 8.3. We had 10 shots to their 9, 5 on target to their 4. A 1.4 XG to a 0, 1.05. 9 corners to 4, 8 fouls to 8. 2 yellow cards, 0. 90% passing to 85. 53% possession to 47. Nice, comfortable victory here in the end. And a beautiful double header as we have just beat... Two of the best teams that we're pretty much going to face. So I'm pretty positive about this one. So Do High is going to be in the next... Do Hill even is in the next round after a 2-1 aggregate win. We won 5-1. That was, of course, after extra time. We then have 3-1 in this game. So Al Ahli will be through to the next round. And yes, the Blue Wings have made it through. We are going to another country. We are not going to China. We are not returning to Thailand. We have got a brand new international destination. Whether that's Saudi Arabia, whether that is, was that top one? I don't know if that was Iran. Uh, Iraq, sorry. This was Iraq versus Kuwait, I believe. So one of those. Let's just go to the next screen where I can actually see. Anyways, we've made it through, we've made 38,000, we've received another 116,000 for making it through, and we've got Blue Wings in the next one. We are going to South Korea, ladies and gents. That is going to be an entertaining one as we take on Su Wong Samson Blue Wings on Tuesday, the 28th of September. Is that a single leg? That looks like a single leg, which is kind of weird. That's kind of weird. The other game, of course, is Saudi Arabia versus Qatari side. So they were the Qatari side. I couldn't quite remember which way round those two were. But that is going to be the AFC Champions League. The current holders, Marinos, we beat in this one. But we weren't the ones who knocked them out. I'm not even quite sure who knocked them out, quite frankly. Who did knock them out? Let's have a little quick look at that one quarter finals was it no they didn't make quarters second round we have hiroshima got knocked out f marinos lost to beijing who we've just knocked out they beat them 3-1 so that is pretty darn interesting but this game has been moved nagasaki which was going to be one of our episodes in fact it was going to be a couple away but this doesn't change where the next episode is going to be. In fact, we are going to verse Kawasaki Frontale. Because, like I previously mentioned, the Empress Cup draw is going to be just prior to that game. So what I'll do is I'll kick off with the Cup draw. Or at least, do we have any catch-up games? Before I say that, yeah, we have one catch-up game. So I'll probably do the catch-up game, then the Cup draw. Or maybe, yeah, the catch-up game, then the Cup draw. Then we'll play Frontale, and then in the following episode, if the fixed list doesn't change, of course, we will head away to South Korea as we wear Su Wong Blue Wings. But I thank you all for joining us. I hope you all have a lovely night, and goodbye.